Konstantin Grishenko. Ambassador of Ukraine to Russia and MBSP term start fee equal 2008 term and fee equal 2010 president fee equal Viktor Yushchenko predecessor fee equal early diamond successor fee equal Volodymyr Yeltsenko office fee equal fifth minister for foreign affairs of Ukraine term start for equal 2 September 2003 term end for equal 3 February 2005 prime minister for equals Viktor and Kovic predecessor for equal Anatoly Zelenko successor for equal Boris Terry sick office fee equal and MBSP sixth ambassador of Ukraine to the United States and MBSP term start for equal 10 year 2000 term and for equal September 2003 President Favico Leonid Kutcher predecessor Favico Anton Bitek successor Favico Mikhailo Uznikov for six equal and MBSP ambassador of Ukraine to the Kingdom of Belgium and MBSP term start six equal 1998 term and six equal 2000 President six equal Leonid Kuchma predecessor six equal successor six equal Volodymyr Mekondo he birth date equal birthplace equal Kiev Ukrainian SSR Soviet Union signature equal Kostyant and H. Shanko signature 2014 PNG Kostyant and Ivanovich Krishchenko also spelled H. Shanko Ukrainian Kaos Tata and Tata and Cyrillic letter 456 and Russian. and Born 28 October 1953 as a Ukrainian diplomat and politician. Since Ukraine gained independence, Kostyant and Grishenko has served in a succession of senior positions with responsibilities ranging from arms control and regional security to education and public health. He served as Vice Prime Minister of Ukraine 2012-2014, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine 2003-2005 and 2010-2012 and First Deputy Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine 2008-2010. Ambassadorial appointments include Head of Mission of Ukraine to NATO and the Ambassador of Ukraine to Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg 1998-2000, Ambassador to the United States 2000-2003 and Ambassador to the Russian Federation 2008-2010. In addition to his posts in the Ukrainian government, Kostyant and Grishenko participated in personal capacity in a number of high-profile bodies focused chiefly on various aspects of regional and international security. 1991 Deputy Chief Inspector for Biological Weapons of the United Nations Special Commission in Iraq and Skam. 1995-1998 Member of Council of Founders, Geneva Center for Security Policy. 1999-2003 Member of the Advisory Board on Disarmament Matters to the UN Secretary General and 2003 Chairman of the Board. 2000-2003 Member, United Nations Monitoring, Verification and Inspection Commission and Mubican 2003-2006, Member of the Board of Directors of Transatlantic Partners Against States. Kostyantin Grishchenko holds the diplomatic rank of Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary. Education In 1975, Kostyantin Grishchenko graduated with honors from Moscow State Institute of International Relations with a specialty in international law. Besides his native Ukrainian and Russian languages, he is fluent in English and French. Professional activity. 1976-1980 served as staff member of the United Nations Secretariat in New York City. 1981-1991 held various diplomatic positions in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the USSR. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union, Kostyantin Grishenko returned to Kiev where he took up work in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of newly independent Ukraine. 1995-1998 Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine with responsibilities covering arms control and disarmament, European security, the Commonwealth of Independent States, Russian Federation, Middle East, Asia, Africa and the Pacific region. He played a key role in negotiating a number of crucial international agreements aimed at strengthening the independence, territorial integrity and security of Ukraine. During this time Kostyant and Grishenko initiated a large-scale program for professional diplomatic training for newly recruited MFA personnel in a number of the EU countries and in the United States. Many of the graduates later became leading diplomats in the Ukrainian diplomatic service. 1998-2000 Head of Mission of Ukraine to NATO, Ambassador of Ukraine to Belgium, the Netherlands and Luxembourg, Permanent Representative to the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons Opko in the Hague. 2000-2003 Ambassador of Ukraine to the United States and in 2001 Non-Resident Ambassador to Antigua and Barbuda. 2003-2005 Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine. His policy priorities as foreign minister of European integration, strengthening ties with Washington and enhancing pragmatic cooperation with Russia. In 2003, he publicly opposed joining the common economic space with Russia, Kazakhstan and Belarus. He, along with other members of the cabinet, argued that membership in this institution would contradict the Ukrainian constitution. During the Ukrainian-Russian Tesla crisis in 2003, he engaged all diplomatic tools at his disposal to counter Moscow's attempts to challenge Ukraine's territorial integrity and return to normal relations with Russian Federation. 2006-2007 Foreign Policy Advisor to Prime Minister of Ukraine After snap parliamentary elections in 2007, Kostyant and Grishenko joined the opposition government as a shadow minister of foreign affairs. With deepening political crisis in Ukrainian-Russian relations, President Viktor Yushchenko in April 2008 appointed Kostyant and Grishenko first Deputy Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council, NSDC, and in July Ambassador to the Russian Federation. 
Kostent and Ryshenko continued serving as first deputy secretary of the NSDC, giving Ukraine's ambassador to Russia special status that settled the concern of the senior leadership over Ukrainian-Russian relations. The main creed of the Ukrainian ambassador in Moscow was expressed in his program article Ukraine-Russia, the person and the state in the Ukrainian weekly magazine Zekolo Nedeli. The source of many conflicts and contradictions in the Ukrainian-Russian relationship is rooted in one basic fact in the years after collapse of the USSR, while sharing many common interests. We drift apart on how we perceive our future social development and our values. Acceptance of these objective differences is to hold both Moscow and Kiev and prevent us from attempts to teach each other and to impose on our neighbor our own model as only true one. During a TV duel with Dmitry Rogozin, then Russian ambassador to NATO, Kostyant and Grishchenko stated that in Russia an acceptable ideology for developing normal Ukrainian-Russian relations is being imposed on society. He insisted that contentious issues need to be discussed in order to be resolved and thereafter agreements have to be consistently implemented, rather than aggravating them thus creating basis for future conflicts. As to the prospect of Ukraine's accession to NATO, he replied that there is no realistic chance of it happening in foreseeable future, but, in any case, the direction of foreign policy of Ukraine will be decided only by the Ukrainian people and not by Moscow, Washington or Brussels. After the presidential election in 2010, Konstantin Grishchenko was appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs for the second time. In spring 2010, the newly appointed foreign minister embarked on a challenging mission to calm increasingly tense relations between Kiev and Moscow. He pursued pragmatic policy course focusing on areas where cooperation would yield better results for both parties than conflict. With this approach, Ukrainian exports to Russia almost doubled, a long delayed demarcation of the land border between the two countries was implemented. By mitigating tensions between the two neighbors, the foreign ministry eased administrative and police pressure on millions of Ukrainians in Russia. The detente in relations with Russia made it possible to persuade cautious Europeans to move forward with an ambitious association agreement with Ukraine. The lifting of travel barriers for Ukrainian citizens was another priority. Under Kostant and Grishchenko's guidance, Ukrainian diplomats managed to negotiate visa-free travel regimes with Israel, Turkey, Brazil, Argentina. Kostant and Grishchenko articulated Ukraine's foreign policy at the time as follows. Ukraine's European policy is to be the priority, but is to be pragmatic. We need to understand that Ukraine undoubtedly has a European vocation, but in the current international reality, Ukraine, in order to reach this goal, will have to stay its way forward quite differently from the new EU member states that will be a path of internal transformation consistent with the European norms in strategic partnership with the European Union and Russia, but also through development of cooperation with the regions of the world where we see dynamic economic development, a proactive desire to cooperate with Ukraine and respect for our national aspirations. Among his main achievements during this period were the completion of negotiations of the association agreement with the EU in 2012 and finalization of the plan for a visa-free regime with the EU. Economic diplomacy was given a special priority. Formally separate and inefficient trade missions were fully integrated into embassies and newly established Council of Exporters established under the MFA auspices started to play an important role of promoter for Ukrainian goods and companies in international markets. In December 2012, Konstantin Grishchenko was named Vice Prime Minister of Ukraine by Viktor Yanukovych and became the first foreign minister in Ukraine's history to have to leverage his international experience to address domestic social issues. His portfolio included science and education, health care, culture, youth and sports. Among his priorities was strengthening of drug quality oversight. EU medicine standards were implemented in 2013 for circulation of medicines, good manufacturing practice, GMP and appropriate practice of distribution GDP of drugs. Ukraine became the first country to ratify the Convention of the Council of Europe on Counter Action of Falsification of Medicines and Similar Crimes, which bear threat to public health, the Medicrime Convention, and the first post Soviet state to introduce criminal liability for falsification of drugs. Serious steps were taken to simplify access to anesthetizing medicines for terminal patients. Priority attention was paid to improve availability of medical care development of a network of institutions, a primary link and reforming system of emergency medicine, as well as adoption of the drafts of nationwide target social program of counteraction to HIV slash AIDS for 2014-2018. As Vice Prime Minister, though not directly responsible for foreign policy, Kostant and Grishchenko was on a number of occasions called upon to help Ukrainian citizens in distress. In July 2013, on a challenging mission to Tripoli, Libya, he secured release of 19 Ukrainians held hostage by anti-government armed militia in the port of Benghazi. He was dismissed from his position as member of the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine on 27 February 2014 by decree of the Verkhovna Rate of Ukraine. Awards and Honours Kostend and Grishchenko was awarded the Order of Merit 3rd, 2nd and 1st Class for Personal Valuable Contributions to Diplomacy and Foreign Affairs in Ukraine, and also received honorary diplomas of the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine 2001, 2003, and Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine. He was awarded National Order of the Legion of Honor and also received a number of decorations from other foreign states. Personal Life Kostyant and Grishchenko married Natalia Grishchenko in 1974. They have a daughter, Oksana, and two grandchildren.